welcome back my gardening friends well I'm going to uh, pull another parsnip and um, if you like what you see then uh, why not try and grow them how I do it doesn't have to be in uh, a deep box you can still do this in the ground but uh, let's have a look see how the parsnips are doing this is on here to keep most of the moisture out of the bed so that if it does freeze we can still get uh, our parsnips out uh, these are the uh, gladiator f1 sown on the 12th of april 21 uh, we're down to uh, our last few uh, rows that's come out nice and easy this bit isn't usable but uh, these are uh, really really good Excuse the police helicopter flying overhead. I hope he's not looking for anything that I've been collecting recently. But uh, yeah, you can grow cracking parsnips. You've just got to get the tap root far enough down to pick up all the manure and all the nutrients that we plant. Uh, the roots are the last crop in, so when you plant your manure to grow your potatoes, the manure juices all drop down way into the ground. That's what our root crops are there for, and the last part of the four year rotation and uh, I'm going to show you how I replenish that manure layer right at the bottom uh, shortly so I'll get this covered up Mrs Kale like uh, that parsnip I'll get this covered up and I'll move the tripod so you can see what's going on so this is one of the pallet collar coal frames um, one of the last ones I've used ordinary plastic and it's gone very brittle and it's floating about the allotment I've got one piece of plastic left I am going to do use that but when I recover the polytunnel any spare bits I'll over order and uh, I'll use some of the polytunnel cover on these and these can go over our seedlings when we uh, use the little mini greenhouses etc but I'll get rid of this now uh, and we'll see what uh, the soil looks like now it's been covered up for a while the worms uh, love the cardboard especially when it's been covered with uh, bits of wood Well, this is the first time I've actually uh, put the rings in. They're there so we can uh, put three seeds per station and then these are my uh, pop juice bottles. Uh, we can put those on and they act as uh, mini uh, greenhouses. But I thought I'd get them in now because then I know exactly where I've got to uh, put the hole. I'm not going to bore you to death with this. Uh, let's see how far down that's gone that's down to towards the bottom of the uh, pallet collar that's where the manure layer is I've uh, lost my uh, funnel so uh, so I don't want to spill this liquid manure on top of the bed else it'll make the parsnips fork but at least if it does run down the sides uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem so to make it easier I've cut it to an angle so it splashes into there he says for the rest but that manure runoff from the uh, the beds will go into the bottom and disperse and then those tap roots on the parsnip will, will uh, get down there so once these holes are made we use these uh, over the top and we actually pour 
that dry or damp cocoa koi into the holes. No nutrients, no nothing. The, the tap root can grow that long within days and weeks. And it'll be down the bottom before you know it. If we put that over the top and then we actually just plant uh, three seeds. I do use some compost, some decent compost on the top just to get those uh, seeds to uh, germinate and uh, off they go. Start with that spilling it. Should have counted to nine and not ten. I think I've blocked the hole up at the bottom. That's what the problem is. Lesson learned. What a silly Billy I am. As I'm pushing that pipe in, it's uh, just blocking the end up, so I need to make sure that's clear. After I push the pipe in, I'll have another go. Well, that weren't too bad, um, but that's how I rejuvenate my uh, manure layer right at the bottom there. Uh, if you want to have a look at uh, the playlist on home uh, homemade liquid plant foods, compost mixes, and activators, you'll find uh, video there, and many other videos that you might find interested. Interesting. Well, that's all the holes done. Let's put it back to how it was. Well, you can't please everyone, can you? <laughs> uh, this worm's just uh, popped up to the top and uh, said to me, you know, dig, we're working our what's names off to give you a nice fluffy soil and you're sticking a great big bar in it. But they'll appreciate the manure afterwards. So I'll get this topped off now and sorted. Just wriggled around with my fingers. Oh well, I'll just have to uh, move out the way. Uh, somebody's just going to uh, have a, a fire uh, next door and uh, didn't want to catch capture them on the uh, video. But uh, even in um, ordinary ground, if you make a hole even that deep it'll um, fill it full of compost that will give that tap root a place to go and uh, a lot of my tap roots end up going like a little pig's tail at the bottom because they've reached the bottom but uh, that's where they're going to fetch all the nutrients from and uh, I grow about 24 parsnips uh, a year that's plenty for us one parsnip like that will last us two weeks and I've got uh, Two, three, four, five, six. I've got eight left, so we could go well into March, uh, into April. Then we can get that one moved and use it uh, for something else. Please, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment. 
and uh, we'll catch you next time. So, happy gardening to you all. Drama, friends. Yum yum.